coverage chaos as State Farm pulls out of high fire risk locations. We'll tell you which Bay Area neighborhoods will get hit hardest by the loss of Bay Area homeowner insurance policies. Plus, a houseboat floating in the Bay. Why it's being forced out of the San Mateo waterway. I'm Andrea Sistio. Let's get you synced in. We're getting a new look at which California neighborhoods are getting hit hardest as the state's largest insurer, State Farm, announced it is not renewing some home insurance policies. One of the hardest hit areas will be Orinda. State Farm will not be renewing more than 1,700 policies in Orinda, which represents 55% of the city's homeowner policies. Other neighborhoods in parts of Sonoma, Contra Costa, Santa Clara, and Santa Cruz counties will also be heavily impacted. Last month, State Farm issued a written statement explaining its decision to no longer write new policies for new California homes and to end coverage for about 50,000 existing California customers. It reads, this decision was not made lightly and only after careful analysis of State Farm General's financial health, which continues to be impacted by inflation, catastrophe exposure, reinsurance costs, and the limitations of working within decades old insurance regulations. San Francisco leaders are vowing not to give up their name without a fight, at least when it comes to the renaming of Oakland Airport. The Port of Oakland Commission on Thursday is going to debate changing Oakland Airport's name to San Francisco Bay Oakland International Airport. An Oakland Airport spokesperson argues it would clarify more than confuse. San Francisco leaders disagree and Monday night threatened legal action if Oakland goes ahead with the plan. The current proposal also infringes on SFO's trademarks. SFO began operating almost a century ago, has used San Francisco International Airport or San Francisco Airport through most of its history. And we've had these trademarks for so long that they are incontestable under federal law. Oakland Airport leaders argue that the change is needed because people don't realize its close proximity to San Francisco and business is being lost in the process. They also say a new survey finds about half of East Bay residents are at least somewhat comfortable with the name change. New video from NBC Bay Area Sky Ranger shows a house just floating in the bay. The move is part of a series of houseboats moving to Marin. This is one of dozens of boats that have been forced out of the San Mateo waterway. It's all part of a lawsuit that was filed nine years ago. A San Mateo County lawyer claimed it was illegal to have the house boats in the county waterway. The suit was settled and part of the agreement was for the house boats to move. We're not sure how many more boats will be moved. And that'll do it for us today on Synced In. See you again tomorrow.